Now to the uh, big story. Well, aside from football, the Western Conference Finals were supposed to be the battle for Los Angeles. Lakers held up their end of the bargain. We expected the Clippers to join them. The Denver Nuggets had a different idea. They came back from another 3-1 deficit. This is the second straight time in the postseason, shocking the Clippers and advancing. And Game 7 came down to the stars, those that showed and those that didn't. Jamal Murray struggled last few games, played great, 40 last night for Denver. The Joker, triple-double, brilliant. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, missing in action. In the fourth quarter, they did not score a point. Clippers seemed to act like they could turn it on when they needed to. And we talked about their depth. And, hey, they got to get everybody together. You know, you had uh, Montrez Harrell, who had bubble issues. You, you had Lou Williams had bubble issues. Hey, but you still got Kawhi. Hey, Kawhi's best player in the game. Got Paul George. Got two of the great two-way uh, you know, players on the wing. The Clippers got outscored 50-33 to 33 after halftime. It was a dangerous way to play. When you run into a team like Denver that had nothing to lose here. But boy, what a disappointing way to end this season. The, the things that they gave up to make this happen in Los Angeles with the Clippers. Uh, I'll talk about that in a moment. But here's Paul George. And I was really surprised with this postgame comment. It's obvious pressure, you know, to, to live up to the title expectations. But as a player, I mean, you, you want that. Like, you you, you want that. Um, again, it's the first time I've, I've been in that situation where we're expected to win. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, it's, it's, it's no cop-out. The um, fact of the matter is we didn't live up to that expectation. Uh, but I think internally we, we, we've always felt um, this is not a championship or bust year for us. Man. I don't know what he's talking about. Kawhi and Paul George are one season away from having the option to enter free agency. When you think about the Clippers and how they got to this position, they traded Shea Gilgis Alexander in an unprotected first round pick in 2022, 2024, 2026. Plus they swapped picks in 2023 and 2025 with Oklahoma City for the ability to compete for titles now. Clippers traded away their 2020 first-round pick for soon-to-be free agent Marcus Morris Sr. Yes, Paul George, the future is now. How he did not feel that, that'll give you a better insight into what was going on with the Clippers. We all love Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers has got to wear this, and he had this to say after the loss. Just disappointed, you know. I thought we had so many opportunities over the last three games to win. Um... But listen, you got to give Denver credit. They kept playing. They kept executing. They kept playing together. You know, so right now, just disappointment. I don't know if Steve Ballmer has a difficult decision to make at some point with Doc Rivers. Because do I want to keep Doc for one more year, give them one more chance? Hopefully we're playing basketball outside of the bubble. And you got Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. And if you do make a change, do Paul George and Kawhi Leonard want to stay? Because they wanted to play for Doc Rivers. You got Tyron Lue, who you could bring in, who has championship credentials. But th this is a bigger issue here. Because I got the feeling, aside from Kawhi, everybody else on that Clipper team felt like they had won a championship before. Like they had a whole lot of swag and they had no reason to have swag. They hadn't accomplished anything. And they still haven't. Kawhi? Obviously did in San Antonio. Obviously did last year in Toronto. Didn't show up in the fourth quarter. And I, I always bring it back to this just to show how hypocritical a lot of people in this business are. If LeBron had lost last night to the Nuggets being up three games to one and not scoring in the fourth quarter, this would be the biggest story in the United States. Aside from what's going on with the serious stories, this would be... This would go global because everybody would pile on. Oh, you want to call yourself Michael Jordan? You think you're as good as you? Here's Kawhi Leonard. We're ready to quit. Uh, Christian, Kawhi Leonard is the best player in the game. Hey, historically, how will we look at Kawhi if he wins the title? Three titles, three different teams. 
Kawhi Leonard, great player, didn't show up last night. Paul George, good player, did not show up last night. When Montrez Harrell is your leading scorer, you're probably in trouble. Kawhi Leonard deserves blame. We gave him credit. Boy, we go out of our way to give Kawhi credit. He deserves blame, too. I'm Denver Nuggets, man, you showed a whole lot of resiliency. When you're down 3-1 and you came back, because there's part of me that was thinking, if you're the Nuggets, do you go, man, let's just check out of the bubble. Let's just get out of here. Remember how tired they were game one? They were exhausted. Jamal Murray, he, he was on fumes with what he had done and accomplished in the previous series. But Denver played great, and they had, de- they had more depth than the Clippers did. They got contributions from everybody. And the Joker was brilliant. Triple-double, that's big-time basketball. Jamal Murray put up 40. That was pretty impressive. So the future is now for Paul George, Doc Rivers, Kawhi Leonard to win a championship. Not next year. It should have been this year. Who, who would you put the most blame on for the Clippers? Kawhi, Paul George, or Doc Rivers? And I actually asked that because I was surprised that you guys – we're talking about maybe Doc Rivers' future being in question there. Well, he's so popular. You he know? is, but I, I want, I love Doc. Who doesn't like Doc Rivers? But this, is, this isn't, you know, personal. This is professional that you have to look at this team. How were they not ready to go? I love Dave Roberts, Dodgers manager. If he doesn't make the World Series, I don't think Dave Roberts is back. So I root. But then I got to be professional in what I see. And Doc has blown another three to one lead. And it just, they, they did not look like a championship caliber team. And I know you're going to get this today. A lot of people will go, yeah, I knew the Clippers. Oh, I, I didn't hear anybody prior to the series going, you know, the Clippers, they're not going to make the Western Conference Finals. Like, how many people, even in Denver, picked Denver to beat the Clippers? And when they're down three games to one. This is a bigger problem for the Clippers than people are going to point out and publicize. You went through the motions. I thought you were vulnerable against Dallas. And I said at the time, everybody looked at Portland knocking off the Lakers, and I said, you got to look at Dallas knocking off the Clippers. But people wouldn't focus on that because if the Mavericks had been playing the Lakers and LeBron, everybody would have focused on it. Nobody was focusing on the Clippers. And if you watch them... Paul George was in a funk. We didn't see the roster blend together. There were concerns there. And they just didn't look like they were killers out there. Kawhi, as wonderful as he is, you can't mail it in in the fourth quarter. He didn't score. Paul George didn't score in the fourth quarter of Game 7. That sends you to the Western Conference Finals. Let that sink in. Yeah, McLovin. I have to defend Kawhi. Okay. I mean, it was very obvious there were four guys on him, and they were just, they completely left Paul George alone and said, go ahead, any of you scrubs hit a shot, and they couldn't hit the ocean. So every, they just collapsed on Kawhi. Kawhi threw it to the open guy, and they were so nervous. Like, Paul George could barely get rim in the fourth quarter. And also, the other thing, Paul George, and then Kawhi switched on to Jokic, shut him down, and Paul George can't defend anybody. He's supposed to be... Uh, well, he's, he's, isn't he a great wing defender? I was told. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I would Just, say, here's my hot take. Uh, it's, it's one thing to be an all-star in Indiana and Charlotte. It's another to be an impact player in the Final Four. Yeah. Play. And Kemba Walker is right there. It, I know the cardiac Kemba, but... And that's what we wanted to know about Paul George when he went to Los Angeles. This is different. This is not Oklahoma City. This is not Indiana. This is Los Angeles. And now there's a whole lot more pressure. And we saw that. Look, this story obviously is an asterisk because the entire sports season is one big asterisk here uh, with the pandemic. But Paul George saying that this wasn't championship or bust is totally misreading the room. How he could think that with everything they gave up to get, get him. Yes, McLeod. So that's not on Doc. I mean, I think that's on the front office for making a mistake. Do you think Doc's involved in this? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he could be. But Doc was really good with that uh, young team last year. That's the only reason they were in position to get these guys. I'm just saying it's championship now or bust.